Hey everybody, this is an updated version of an infinite hold reverb patch in Super Collider that I uploaded a while ago and uh, one of my subscribers pointed out that it had some mistakes in it and uh, I'm continually learning more and more about Super Collider and so that means going back and rewriting a lot of old code so I've been meaning to get around to this for a while. Anyway, here it is. Uh, so it's similar to my last uh, my last patch. It's just a couple of things are different. Um, this line here you can just ignore. This is just to facilitate making a YouTube video. The the real code is sort of between these curly braces here. Essentially I'm creating a function and giving it the dot play message. So Super Collider is going to read what's in here and try to make sense of it and try to make sound out of it. So the first thing I do is I create a feedback argument and I set it equal to 1. That way um, when the uh, signal goes through the feedback loop um, it's just uh, reading the same signal coming out going back in. Uh, I've got a few uh, variables to hold audio, sig, and local so the first thing I do is establish the uh, live signal with a sound in object and uh, in my previous video I had a 2 here and uh, you know I if I had just taken a second to look at the help file, I would have seen that this actually multiplies the signal by two rather than making it uh, a two-channel variable, two-channel audio. But anyway, so that's that's not important. Um, and I've got local, which I set equal to a local in uh, object. And uh, this used in conjunction with local out creates a very convenient feedback loop. And so I set local equal to this local in object, and I'm adding uh, the uh, live signal, and I'm using the DUP message because I want it to match the number of channels. This is stereo sound. This here is just mono, and so the local in is uh, two channels, and I want to duplicate the uh, sig variable. Anyway, this is the really important step here, where I apply the reverb uh, through an all-pass filter, which is just really just a special kind of delay line. And uh, this is the signal being processed. I'm using local, which is the uh, variable that gets sent uh, through the feedback loop over and over again. Uh, one, this is the max delay time, this is the delay time itself, and this is the decay time. And it's a function uh, enclosed within a do loop. And right now I'm just doing this function once. So this won't give us infinite reverb. This is just a very simple um, line of code, and it's it's just a simple delay line at this point, and we're going to build on that so you can actually see and hear what's happening. And uh, here's the local out. It takes the local signal after it's been processed with the all-pass filter, and local in picks it back up. Uh, right now I'm multiplying it by zero, which essentially negates the fact that we've got a feedback loop going. Uh, eventually I'll replace this with the feedback argument, and then we'll actually get some infinite hold stuff going on. And lastly, I have a separate out statement um, independent of the uh, feedback loop, you know, which just sends out the dry signal and the wet signal, which is being uh, delayed through the all pass filter. So, uh, anyway, let's just uh, play this and see what it sounds like. So, so we have a single second delay we have line. A single second delay line. Pretty simple, pretty simple. So um, if we change the delay time to uh, a random value somewhere between essentially zero and the maximum delay time, then each time we run this, we'll get a slightly different delay time. Like, like this. this. This is, is a pretty, pretty quick, quick one. one. If we do it again, it'll be a, it'll little, be a different. little different. It's, a, it's a still, still pretty short. Pretty how about, How now? about now? Uh, about uh, the, about same. the same. Test. Test. Okay. Okay. So this one's nice and long. So this one's nice but and long. But you get the point. Uh, each time it's uh, picking a, a random delay time. Um, okay, well let's change the decay time to 3. So this time we'll get the same sort of random delay effect, but it'll take 3 seconds to decay. Hello? 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 Okay, so you can okay, hear so that. So you can hear that. that. It's a random, it's a random delay, delay, delay time. Okay, so takes three seconds to decay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Test. Test. 
test. So that's a slightly, so that's longer, a slightly delay longer delay time. Delay time. And here's the short one. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's do this twice. So we're going to delay the signal with a three second decay time. And then we're going to do that again with a different random delay time and another uh, three second decay. And you'll hear that even from just uh, uh, two iterations, we start to get some complex sounds. Hello? 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 Okay, yeah, okay, you can hear that. Can hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it Let's again. Do it. Hello? 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 So, entirely so, different. Entirely so, different. entirely different. Maybe one more time. Hello? 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 Okay, cool. So let's do this five times and see what happens. Test. 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 Okay. And maybe once more. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're starting to get stuff that sounds a little bit like reverb. So let's take the max delay time down to something like this. And uh, let's actually do this. Well, first let's hear it. Why not? Hello. All right. So already sounds a little bit like reverb, but just just to make it nice and rich, let's actually do this 15 times. And it sounds like this. It sounds like reverb. It's a little excessive, but you know. And the one thing we're not doing yet is um, using feedback. So instead of uh, multiplying by zero in the feedback loop, let's multiply by our feedback argument, which will be one. So we should get an infinite hole reverb with this. Bum. Hello? Yes. So of course with infinite hold reverb, if you just keep uh, you know talking into the mic or making noise, it's just going to get louder and louder, uh, which is why we have this here. So, uh, since we're um, this this last step here uh, takes advantage of the set message, and because we're giving this function uh, in the curly braces here a name, we can uh, change the feedback argument while it's playing. So if we have infinite reverb here, we can cut it down. When it's one, we have no decay. It just goes forever. But make it something small, and it starts decaying. So, uh, pretty simple stuff, and, and really not too expensive in terms of CPU. So, um, uh, you know, just with this line alone, we can start to make some some nice sounds. So, uh, let's just. Um, mess around a little bit. Anyway, so there you go, uh, infinite hold reverb uh, with some mistakes corrected. Uh, I hope this makes sense. You know, if, uh, as uh, of course, if you have any questions, 
comments, uh, those are always welcome. You can uh, send me a message or just comment on the video. And, um, you know, I hope you have some fun with this. So uh, anyway, that's it. Take care and uh, see you later.